So gradient means slope. So if we have a line on a x and y plane, so this is x axis, this is y axis. Okay. And this is our line. So what is the slope? How inclined it is? So which is represented by M. Is that thing clear? We have done this yes, thing before also. So I, today I'm just going to focus on the important solving part. Do you remember the slope formula if we have two points? Not at all. Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1. Okay. So let's do the third question. I'm doing one part, you do the another part. So point A is 3 comma 3 and point B is 7 comma 5. What they can do is they can give you these points on the graph also. So 3 comma 3 is somewhere here and 7 comma 5 is somewhere here. Understood? And they might give you a line. Same question will come. They will ask you the slope. What is the slope? Is that thing clear? Yes, sir. Now, what are we going to do in this? We are going to use the above formula. Since this is the point I have written first, so I will consider this as x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay. So what is the value of y2? 5. 5 minus 3 upon 7 minus 3. So m value would become 2 upon 5. Sorry, 2 upon 4. So m becomes half. Is this part clear? Slope. So this is my question number 3, A part. Based on this understanding, if we do the B part right now. Your step one should be right on the top. This is x1. This is y1. x2. This is y2. Then you should write down the formula. y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. What is the value of y2? 5 minus 8 and 5 minus minus 1. Because it is already minus, we do we put it in bracket. Okay. So 5 minus 8 is negative 3. And over here, 5 plus 1. So minus 3 upon 6 minus half is the slope. Is your answer matching? Yes, sir. 